Star Citizen FM. A very simple idea that had been pitched to me by the many friends that I have since made from Chatroll. And Rip Chatroll. To any viewer that's seeing this that has no idea what I'm talking about, Star Citizen FM is a fan broadcast. A fan broadcast made specifically for one game. Cloud Imperium Games, Star Citizen. When Chris Roberts first showed me Star Citizen and everybody else, I was quite amazed. It's kind of what I think everybody was dreaming for. It was the game that we all wanted to play, that we wanted to be talking about at a break. It's the game that we've been waiting for for years. There was a problem though. You see, Star Citizen had decided to do crowdfunding. And while it's worked out very well for it in the long run, not many people really know about you in the beginning of a crowdfunding campaign. Some of us, like myself, don't have a lot of money or don't have the influence that we necessarily wish we had in order to help develop and support the things we love. But I have skills and I have experience I gained through college it's, you know, and life that I applied to a more creative process. Enter Star Citizen FM. For the last year and a half, I have been privileged enough to do developer interviews. I've been able to fly down and visit the team in Austin, Texas, courtesy of the fans. And I've been able to <laughs> have this roller coaster ride of fun. And sadly, life can't be all fun and games. Because sadly, real life is a lot more plain and boring than it is on screen. Hence why I wanted to try to reach out with Patreon. Now, what is Patreon exactly? It's a means for content creators like myself to find a way to make a little bit of income at the same time while providing quality content for you guys. You see, for me, the main goal with Star Citizen FM, and the goal that it always will be, is to spread Star Citizen to as many people as I can. If I can at least tell one person about Star Citizen and they pledge, then my day is made. I can go to bed and smile and be happy. Problem with that is that I don't have as much of an influence as many of my friends would like to think. Uh, right now I'm shooting this on an iPhone camera. That needs to improve. So the goal for me would be to try to ramp up Star Citizen FM. I already have a mic. Maybe get a better one. Maybe get a better camera. Maybe get a green screen so I can actually use my face for once and not just have this blank screen that you guys watch because that's boring and nobody likes to watch a blank screen. So the intern goal for Star Citizen FM and what is Patreon? Well, for Patreon what you'd be doing is you're supporting Hawk. You're su supporting Dr. Hawk with your money. Either be it a dollar or one hundred billion dollars. Although let's be real here. And the thing that's nice is that you can cancel this at any time. So if you're getting bored with what I'm doing, you can stop. I'm not going to take any ill will of it. And it's not like I'm going to stop doing Star Citizen FM because I'm not getting money. What this is is a simple you know, request from my viewers. If you think that the show is worthwhile, let me know. Donate a dollar, two dollars. Help me make the show into what I want it to be. I want it to be on the same level as Michael Moreland, our Viewmaster. Uh, hopefully, to that level, that'd be the end goal, or maybe even somewhere along the lines of the whole truth. There's a lot of quality podcasts out there, and I would love to be able to achieve what they do. The issue is, of course, always time and money. And that's where you come in. I need my fellow citizen support to help turn Star Citizen FM into a kick-ass show. Let's turn this into something amazing, and as Star Citizen rolls out, be there to report on the many amazing things that happen. Be it ship loadouts, something crazy that the Goonrathi has done, or any other shenanigans that may have happened. As in the end, you guys deserve better, and I'd like to be able to provide it. I will always be around for Star Citizen. It is a love and passion of my life that I don't think I'll be getting rid of anytime soon. So, either way, this is a win-win situation, as we have nothing but the future to look forward to when it comes to Star Citizen. So, without any further delay, I'll leave you guys with this thought to think over, 
and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode of Star Citizen FM. This is Dr. Hawk, signing off. You guys all take care, and fly safe. <laughs>